Virtual reality is, is finally becoming uh, something that's a very big industry. This is a form of virtual reality therapy and they're using it for people that have uh, suffered a traumatic injury. It enables you to actually go skydiving without jumping out of a plane. It enables young children to experience what it's like walking through um, uh, ancient times in Greece or Egypt and, uh, and get a sense as to what it was like living in those periods. I love this one because there's a fan in the front and it actually gives you the feel that you're flying and so you can flap your wings and actually fly. Virtual reality is changing how we view the world and there's so many capabilities that are going to come to life with this technology. Um, we can point at things and we can get information off of it. We can move things around and shift things. And uh, it, it's dr going to dramatically change the way we do business. I'll switch gears to flying drones here. Drones are going to affect all of our lives. This is the latest design for a drone that Amazon's going to use to deliver packages to a home. But it's ha it has quite a few problems in that it only can, can handle about uh, uh, two kilograms. I wrote a column on this topic of 37 critical problems that we're going to run into with drone delivery. Um, and it has to do with creating automated systems and cre creating ways of understanding where to deliver packages, uh, having crowded skies, um, even the, the durability of these systems, it hasn't been defined yet. So while the flying drones are going to have a lot of challenges, uh, ground-based delivery drones are much more likely. And so having a drone that can actually deliver a package to your home and actually send you a text message that it's being delivered and it can practically just hand you the package, um, that's, we're going to see a lot of this in the future. As I mentioned, drones are going to affect all of us, and um, we're going to reach the first billion drones in the world somewhere between 2030 and 2032. So it's important to keep in mind that drones are not just flying in the air. Drones can also roll along the ground. They can also stick to the side of a building. They can, they can actually float in a river. They can climb a tree. They can also attach themselves like parasites to the sides of trains and ships and airplanes. Most of the drones that we see coming out in the future are going to have multiple capabilities and so they'll be able to do lots of different things. I'll, sh I'll shift gears again to driverless vehicles. Uh, this is going to make driving a thing of the past. One of my recent papers I talk about 128 things that are going to disappear in the driverless car era. Driverless cars are, are going to take all the work out of traveling from one place to another. But in doing so, as they automate our transportation, they actually change the way we think about the world. So there's going to be lots of jobs that disappear. Taxi drivers, delivery jobs, bus drivers, truck drivers, um, chauffeur, limo drivers. All of these are going to go away. All the auto sales, we won't own our own cars anymore account managers, auto auctions, credit managers, insurance for cars is going to go away, including claims adjusters, um, uh, even crash testers. And keep in mind this transition will take um, two to three decades for this to happen, um, but it's going to be quite, quite a transition. Uh, gas stations will go away, car washes, uh, detail shops, tire shops, brake shops, uh, alignment shops, all of these are going to go away. Parking lots are going to go away, parking garages, valet services, parking meters, charging stations, handicap spots, all of these are going away. Everything from roadside assistance to tow trucks to locksmiths for cars and auto paint stores. So I like to ask this question of how long will it be before your car is actually smarter than you are? We're introducing on-demand transportation, so if you can imagine stepping out in front of your house 10 years from now, punching into your smartphone, I want to go shopping, I want to go to school, I want to go to work. A vehicle comes and picks you up, takes you to where you want to go, and from there it picks somebody else up and takes them to where they want to go. This is on-demand transportation. This changes the way we, we travel across cities, 
and there are currently uh, over 30 car companies around the world working on driverless vehicles today. So this